I just finished giving a preview of Inferno to my good friend Olaver, the president of Iceland, and he was very pleased. And I thought to myself, since I'm showing Inferno to important people today, I have to show it to you guys. So we're in the final stages of, uh, of tying up the loose ends for uh, Inferno, so Eve's 17th uh, free expansion, which is coming out on Tuesday, the 22nd of May. We are all at CCP super hyped about it. We're really, really excited about the features that we're, uh, we're putting out, and we hope that all of you guys are as well. Um, there's a lot of uh, content in there for our existing players, uh, and there's also uh, a lot of opportunities now for newer players to get a, sort of their first foot on the, on the lowest rung of the ladder uh, and really start competing with some of the, uh, our, our older players. One of the key gameplay elements of EVE is player versus player combat. And one of the major features that we're shipping with Inferno is a complete revamp to our ward declaration system. Uh, this system enables anybody who's in a corporation to uh, declare war on somebody else um, for really whatever reason they want. It's a completely player-driven uh, game feature where if a group of players, young or old, want to uh, start impinging on uh, trade routes, if they want to uh, shoot somebody because they have some territory, if they want to shoot somebody because they um, have wronged them in some way in the past and they want to get their own back. This is a mechanism to enable uh, players to engage in combat with other players anywhere throughout the EVE universe, really on their terms. What we've done with War Declarations is remove a whole load of the loopholes and, uh, and bugs that have been in there for a long time but also give players the opportunity to really track their progress in wars and see how they've done in terms of the number of enemies they've killed, how much damage they've inflicted on their enemies, uh, and to really give some sort of emergent gameplay so that our players can use a framework to uh, really decide how they want to play the game for their own ends. Factional Warfare also gives our players the chance to, to really take a first step into help shaping the universe. Uh, through working with other players for your faction, you can actually expand your empire's influence. Uh, against the other sort of enemy empires. And, uh, and this really is that sort of first taste as you move towards some of the much deeper EVE gameplay when you move into Nullsec and, and the full sovereignty game. So this is really a really good stepping stone for, for newer players to understand some of the deeper elements of EVE. But also it's a really good experience for, for our existing players who get to uh, try some different things in a different environment. Uh, and the changes that we've put in, I think, will really shake this up. I think it's going to be an awful lot of fun. So Inferno is out on Tuesday 22nd of May. Uh, if you're a new player and have never tried EVE before, you can go to our website and download a free trial. You can give the character creator a go uh, and really try and get your personality across in, in how your character looks. Uh, and then you can start taking part in all of the features that I've listed already. Uh, and hopefully you'll get as much fun out of Inferno as we've had making it. In Inferno, we are totally redoing the stealth bombers in the game. Still based on the original frigate designs, but now even more awesome and cool and unique. And a little bit bigger, which means that when you now uncloak to deliver your full payload in the face of the unknowing miner, it's gonna feel a lot better and you disappear again. When uh, redoing the launchers and the whole launcher system, we were fortunate enough on uh, Team Trilambda to have both tech art and sound and uh, content creation and art involved, so we could do uh, new explosions and we could do trails and we could do, um, we could change the system how missile works. So now you're not, you're not hitting one damage locator on the ship, you're hitting the ship all over in all directions and all areas. So, I mean, new missile launchers, new effects, new sound effects, uh, new stealth bombers. They are skide godt. I skal prøve det. Skal vi? Yep. <laughs> it's time to man the big guns, because war is coming on May 22nd. <laughs>